Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing. And today, I want to talk to you about the holy grail of income investing and more specifically, covered call uh, ETF investing, right? So when I say the holy grail, what is the holy grail? Well, in my opinion, the holy grail, first of all, for growth investing uh, you might typically think, well, it's beating the market, right? Beating the market. I don't, I don't feel that's the case. I think it's almost impossible to do so. 95% of people fail. So I don't think that's the holy grail. I think the holy grail for growth investing has been found already, and it's been a while. It's passive index ETFs, right? So the Vanguards, the iShares of the world, S&P 500 or the NASDAQ 100. That's just the easiest most cost efficient classic really no-brainer way to get overall exposure to the stock market and to get the overall stock market returns right so uh when people say beating the market or market returns they're typically referring to the king of indexes or the most popular one the s p 500 so if that's the holy grail in my opinion for growth investing wouldn't it be the same for covered call ETF investing or income investing? So that's what I think the holy grail is. So the question is, for us income investors who invest in pretty much covered call ETFs, uh, can we get similar performance or similar total returns to these low-cost passive index funds while still give, getting that nice uh, 10, 11, 12 plus percent yield, that consistent monthly income but with you know but also having the same performance so i thought this was pretty much impossible uh a little while ago i actually made a video about it called the truth about covered call etfs because think about it the two factors that per typically prevent covered call etfs from beating the market or beating these funds is number one they have higher fees which is normal because there's options and it's more expensive to run these these portfolios or these strategies. But number two, the market goes up over time more than it goes down. And when you're doing covered calls, you're giving up a portion of the upside. But it turns out I was wrong, everyone. So it turns out that two fund providers in Canada have found what I think is the holy grail of covered call income investing. One in the U.S., as, found, uh, as founded as well. So we're gonna cover them. We're gonna see which fund providers, in my opinion, has found the holy grail. What if you honorable mention? So we'll cover the Canadian fund managers first. So if you're American, you're only interested in the American one, you could use the YouTube chapters to skip uh, to the American portion. So let's find out everyone who are the fund managers that have found the holy grail of income investing. <laughs> So before we continue, everyone, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of the video, Hamilton ETFs, a good friend of the channel, which recently launched HBIL, a cash alternative style ETF. So great alternative to GICs, cash, high interest savings account. So this is basically an ETF that holds mostly short term government bonds uh, and they do a cover call strategy on 20% of the portfolio. So a great way to get some yield and quite a bit of high yield actually and some monthly income. Uh, so in case you didn't know as well, I came out with a very in-depth one hour Q&A with Hamilton ETFs, uh, Chief uh, Portfolio Manager, Nick Picard. So I, I highly recommend you watch it in case you missed it. We do really go in depth on uh, ETF strategy, covered calls especially. So make sure to check it out. So. Who, we'll start with the Canadian uh, Canadian fund providers and funds that have, in my opinion, found the holy grail. We'll start with the Canadian one. So to my American friends, you could skip using the chapter. So the first fund I want to talk to you about is USCL. And we're going to compare it to the S&P 500. So USCL is uh, the S&P 500 with covered calls on up to 50% of the portfolio and the fund is leveraged 25 percent so of course and it's not canadian currency hedge so we're going to compare to vfv the very popular s p 500 non-canadian hedged listed in canada if we do a comparison uh from beginning of the year you see that it's neck and neck it's pretty much uh on par here 28.08 for uscl total return and 28.13 so slightly lower but i have to say pretty impressive we're, we're pretty much there um and this etf did come out in about july of 2023 so i will admit that since inception it's not beating 
VFV, you could see that here. I, I don't know why. I don't know exactly why did they change the, the strategy. Is it because borrowing costs went down as the year went on? I'm not exactly sure, but um, hopefully going forward, uh, it, it remains on par. So that's that's the first one. Second one is QQCL. So by the same fund manager, Global X Canada, it's a NASDAQ 100 cover call ETF with 25% leverage. So we're going to compare it to, of course, the QQQ of Canada, which is QQC. And if we do a comparison, QQCL versus QQC, uh, since inception, you'll see that it's actually outperforming QQC. So very, very uh, impressive. QQCL just celebrated its one year anniversary. If we actually just switch it to the beginning of the year and skip the first three months, it's actually even more impressive for some reason, kind of like USCL again. Uh, you see uh, 28 versus 26. So QQCL, definitely a fund that found the holy grail. We're getting exposure to a great index with monthly distributions, very high actually, over 12%, uh, with the same total return as the actual index fund that has a much, 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 much lower fee, right? So last but not least is Hamilton ETFs, HYLD or H yield. So this one, again, we'll compare to the S&P 500. It's not exactly the S&P 500 like USCL. It's kind of like a concentrated version of the S&P 500, but it's still trying to follow that that index. You see that here. So this one's Canadian hedge. So we're going to compare it to VSP instead of VFV because this is the Canadian hedge that's Vanguard S&P 500. So if you do a comparison and another thing, and I'm not doing this to cheat or anything, but I'm going to use a start date of uh, beginning of this year because when HYLD came out in 22, 2022, it was completely different, had a lot of third party ETFs and they'd gone through a transformation through the years. And it, they, they basically completed the changes as of the beginning of the year. So if we um, look at HYLD versus VSP, we see an outperformance starting in January 1st. Since inception, no. Okay, I'll admit that. But again, I'm using the date where HYLD completed all its changes. 2540 versus 2350. So pretty nice outperformance. So HYLD definitely one that has found the holy grail. S&P 500 returns, but with uh, monthly income and very high yield. They have HYLD.U, by the way, which is non-currency hedge. So we'll compare this one to VFV instead of VSP. And because it's a .U, uh, for some reason, it doesn't enter properly in this tool. But we'll just look at the last one year, 3642 versus VFV. If you look at the performance, it's about 35. So it's actually beating it. So HYLD definitely on the list. So those are the three <laughs> cover call ETFs that in my opinion have found the holy grail. It's no surprise. I own all three of them and those are my three primary core positions. My personal portfolio, I will have to give a honorable mention, a shout out to Evolve's ESPX. It's not outperforming the S&P 500 since inception. So if you do ESPX versus VSP, because ESPX is Canadian currency hedge, it's pretty close. It's 48.94 for the SM, for the Vanguard and 45.36. So really good, pretty impressive. This one does not have leverage. Uh, so and it writes cover calls on up to 33% of the portfolio. So it's pretty comparable actually to USCC, which is the non-leveraged version of USCL. So uh, leverage brings me to my point, and this is my, my, my point for the Canadian ones anyway. The main denominator, the common denominator, of course, on top of good management, is they are all leveraged 25%. So let th th that small amount of leverage really goes a long way to bridge the gap between the total return. You could cl clearly see that, uh, right, ESPX can do it. Pro a leveraged version would probably beat... Uh, would probably beat VSP, right? So uh, that, in my opinion, that, that's the main factor why. So this is why this is my favorite type of product, right? Index-based, major index that I like with 25% uh, percent leverage and obviously good management as well. So all right, everyone, let's go to the U.S. listed ones now. So in the U.S. listed, there's basically one fund manager that has found it uh, with one, maybe that you could say has, but it's only been out for two months. We'll call it an honorable mention and we'll keep our eye on it, but technically it is. 
So it's X for, from Round Hill, it's XDTE, which is the SP 500 cover call ETF, and QDTE, which you guys know this is pretty much all I have in my retirement accounts, the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF. So if you do XDTE, uh, and by the way, both of these came out in uh, March of this year. So if you do since inception, which is going to be March 15th or whatever, so XDTE versus the iShares. S&P 500, right? S &P, uh, IVV. We see that uh, XDTE is actually outperforming without leverage. This is an unleveraged fund outperforming the index, right? And it's, by the way, if you put VOO or SPY, it, it's outperforming it as well. So absolutely phenomenal, pretty good. It means the strategy is superior, obviously. Uh, because it has no leverage so that's very very impressive qdt is the same thing so we're gonna just compare it to qqq instead obviously because it's a nasdaq 100 and it's outperforming it as well even a little bit by by a little bit more i think so very impressive it seems like round hill has found the magic formula whatever that may be uh you know i love qdte xdt as well right i have qdt in my personal uh portfolio for my retirement account on drip and of course the weekly distributions pretty nice touch now i do have to give out a shout out to a pretty much a brand new one called t spy um so the ceo actually went to do a q a uh, on my friend jordan's uh a channel covered call etf investing you could see it here but this is basically I, I know that i think they have a nasdaq and a russell one coming out so this is a covered call etf it actually seems like that does daily options and it seems like it's very similar to what xcte does i don't see anything that special uh that they do extra from what i've seen from the q a but it's um it just started it came out a month or two months ago sorry uh the the one thing i notice is that the management fee is less 68 basis points uh versus 95 for xdte so if we do t spy versus ivv we'll only get two months of data this is why it's more like an honorable mention because it, it, it you know, hasn't even been six months, but it is technically outperforming IVV as well. So this is definitely one we should keep our eye on. Uh, the first distribution was declared. I believe it's 14% yield monthly distributions. Um, so, uh, yeah, this could be an interesting one that I'll definitely keep my eye on. So these are the funds and fund managers that, in my personal opinion, have found the holy grail. Once again, did I miss any? Let me know in the comment section in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up. I really, really would appreciate it. And see you next time. Hey, don't go yet. A few reminders before you leave. Did you know that I launched a YouTube loyalty membership program where for only $3 a month, you could become a PII Inner Circle member where you will gain access to exclusive content, exclusive videos and live streams, as well as other perks and benefits, including a really cool weekly opportunity report. That's right. If you're interested, just click on the little join button next to the subscribe button to see what it's all about. Also, make sure to follow me on Blossom and download Blossom. It's a social investing app, which is really cool. You could share your portfolio, follow other people's portfolios, including my own. My username is Adrian underscore PII. So download it with the referral link below. Not only is it free, but you could actually earn cash by taking these really small, quick one minute courses. Really awesome. It's a no brainer. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you could book a one-on-one -on -one private coaching session with yours truly, with myself, where you could ask me all the questions you want. All the information and booking information is on the website. Make sure to check out that video on the homepage there to see how to book a one-on-one -on -one properly. Also on my website, you could purchase my digital product, which I'm very proud of, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package. This is a reference tool or a companion tool that will help you build your own portfolio. So it has lists of funds, it has sample portfolios, and it covers both the Canadian and US stock markets. And the good news is you'll only ever have to buy it once because it comes with free lifetime updates. And my plan is really to update the version every single year. So make sure to pick it up. Also, I have Questrade and Passive referral links below. So Questrade is the broker that I personally use and Passive is the broker companion tool or companion uh, or assistant that I use. Really cool program, really cool software. So I have referral links for both of those. Questrade, $50 of free trades 
and passive I have half off for the elite membership if you're interested in the elite membership and even if you want to start out with the free membership and upgrade to the elite afterwards use my referral code so you could still get that 50% off and don't forget that the elite membership of passive is 100% free if you use Questrade. For social media, we have a very successful and big Facebook group, private Facebook group with over 14,000 members where we all try to help each other out. So make sure to join that group. Information is, in, is below. We also have Instagram where you could follow us or more personal stuff uh, when it comes to our life here in Panama. And there's LinkedIn as well. So as usual, everyone, how do I leave you? Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.